I'm sure with you. Uh, today our subject is to talk about uh, reverse osmosis, uh, desalination systems. Um, uh, previously we did demonstrated how to run your model based on uh, uh, three types of uh, uh, reverse osmosis uh, processes such as uh, 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 basic configuration, uh, built to wheel drive energy recovery device and uh, pressure exchanger energy uh, recovery device. Uh, however, in this model, uh, our focus today is on uh, uh, double pass uh, reverse osmosis process. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your destination folder. You have to specify your drive. Don't open your, um, uh, your model from uh, desktop. Just copy it to your working uh, model, working drive and go from here from this pass you can go for to your drive and your working folder until you reach to your uh, main folder okay and try to um, uh, sort by name and group by time in order to make it easy for you and you'll find your model here your uh, figures and, and photos and something like this double clicking and as you can see here, your model should appear like this. This is Moses with double pass. The, the process is simple. Just we are going to, as you can see, this is basic module, uh, this is Moses, uh, high pressure pump, feed water. Uh, it's a design model. So if you specify your uh, output product, uh, the model is supposed to calculate your brine uh, concentration and uh, your feed and the, the load on your, your pump. So in this model, we are going to use, uh, uh, suppose it's totally permeate or total permeate from the, the first stage to go through the, ne the next or the bump, another stage for um, uh, the smoothies. Suppo suppose it's a, it's, a, uh, it's a photo copy from the, the first one. We are going to copy this one by dealing with the second one. But the, the exit from um, the exit permit from the first stage is is um, is working as a main feed to the next stage, and this is your brain uh, circuit. You can collect uh, brain loss from post stages and uh, accumulate your permit uh, at the final stage from the final stage and the previous stage, and this is your total permit. So you can use a splitter unit here or in order to split the, the permeate from the first stage. It's up to you. You can use 10% uh, 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 splitting or 100% splitting or 0%. Uh, percent. It's up to you. But beware that uh, the total flow rate here is responsible for uh, power load on your bump and the pressure. So you have to specify just carefully. Okay, and uh, just double clicking on your uh, mother block and you will find um, your input pane. So you have to uh, assign some uh, inputs. Let's go and assign some inputs. What is your uh, ambient temperature or reference temperature? Okay, ambient temperature. As it, this is uh, seawater temperature. It's the same temperature for post stages. And the salinity, this salinity is uh, seawater salinity, it's, it's from the beginning, salinity of the input, because we are going to use the salinity of the permeate here um, as a feed salinity to the, to the second stage. And uh, this is your final product from, uh, uh, from here. This is not total uh, 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 pro productivity, but this is your uh, second stage productivity, suppose I need uh, 1,000, uh, little 1,500 uh, meter cube per day. And uh, this is your spiritual ratio, okay? What is your spiritual ratio? 20%, what, whatever. Uh, it's up to your design. So suppose I am going for 50-50, okay? 50-50 splitting. And you have to choose your... Um, I'm sorry, that's shrinking this. Uh, and you have to choose your 
uh, membrane type. Um, for the first one, this is seawater intake from well or from surface. Uh, so I, I do prefer to work on seawater 30% high recovery, uh, 380 uh, module. Okay. And for the second one, maybe you can use a lower specification for this one. But suppose I am going for the same. Uh, in order to simplify our uh, results and uh, pressure vessels let's go for pressure vessels increasing number of pressure vessels will reduce your pressure so would reduce your uh, uh, power but you have to put in your consideration that so operating pressure on such types of uh, desalination processes uh, should be between uh, 40 bars up to uh, 68 or 70, 80 bars, no more than this. Therefore, we have to change this in order to control uh, your pressure. Number of pressure, number of elements uh, per vessel, no more than eight. It's a standard. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, anyway, increasing um, any of these will. Uh, decrease the pressure and uh, uh, and the power. Uh, number of uh, um, uh, pressure vessels for the second one. Okay, okay. I, I think we have to reduce this one. It is for uh, one thousand and uh, and five hundred. I think we have to go. But from my experience, I will begin with uh, two hundred number of pressure vessels. And for this one, I, I do prefer. Uh, let's begin from 8 or 10 because this is the second stage and uh, for performance we, you have to specify your you have two bumps so what is your uh, efficiency bumping efficiency uh, but I, I i truly i i would like to change this i you have to go here click and control m okay or you can just right click here on your mother block and going for mask editing uh, yes and edit mask okay let's go for parameters and emphasize okay for performance bumping performance i will change from edit uh, to uh, slider let's go for slider here and it's the efficiency from zero up to one and efficiency it's 0.85 okay and horizontal hit apply and the second one is the same it's slider horizontal and from zero up to one well, as a maximum and our efficiency is uh, 85 percent okay and it's saving and uh, double clicking here okay our okay let's go here okay so this is bombs efficiencies and fouling factor i think it's around 0.85 uh, recovery ratio A recovery ratio i think for the second stage it should be uh, more than 30 uh, percent i think it's 40 percent and the first one it's around um uh, uh 15 i think it's 15 or 20. let's begin from two, uh, 15 we can choose you can change this dynamically if you would like hit apply set your simulation time to zero okay and uh, let's go for for uh, model browser show all of this okay so our model is ready uh, to run let's go inside and see our model okay this is the first stage inputs and outputs second stage inputs and outputs i am going to use the, the salinity of the permit from the first one to be uh, fit salinity to the second one and the productivity um, uh, the productivity is the feed uh, the inlet uh, productivity from uh, uh, the, uh, for the second one is uh, the feed uh, from uh, as you can see here uh, let's go here this is uh, okay this is a uh, feed this is input feed because this is a design model this is input feed uh, to the second stage as you can see here actually it is a premier uh, premier of 
to the second to the first i'm sorry this is feed to the second is a uh, uh, permeate to uh, the first as you can see here okay and this is your code you can double clicking and you can change these are outputs and here are your inputs and this is your code we already uh, showed this before this is total uh, total uh, total plant productivity total plant uh, brain loss and uh, total power um, okay let's hit run based on our um, uh, uh, specifications and see um, what is going on here and as you can see here uh, this is your power bumping power for the first one okay and pressure is around uh, 44 so 44 let's try to uh, decrease or uh, decrease the uh, number of uh, pressure vessels that's decreasing number of pressure vessels let's go for uh, 100 for example okay and let's hit run again you have to adjust your pressure i, I need to increase the pressure a little bit okay it's increased let's go for decreasing again that's decreasing uh, for uh, down to 50 okay and let's go head back again okay 75 no i need to increase it a little bit 75 okay and you can hit run okay 60s that's quite normal uh, for this uh, type okay let's go for this one as you can see here this is your these are your uh, 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 total area specific bulk consumption pressure uh, first pump, pumping power uh, this is a feed flow rate uh, uh, meter cube per hour from the first one this is a feed flow rate from the first one okay as you can see here um, I mean, we are going to utilize this feed uh, as an input to the stage based on your specifications. Uh, brine loss from the first stage, uh, brine salinity, average salinity, and this is your first stage product salinity. So, this is salinity, it's around 150 ppm per million. So, 150 is, is, is nothing. So, I'm going to use this as input for as you can see here for from the second as you can see here between post go to and from so you will find your output for the second stage is nearly zero zero part per million and um, we have to adjust our pressure it's around uh, 27 um, 27 bars let's go and uh, i need to uh, in and uh, I think I have to decrease, uh, let it be one pressure vessels. No need for to go more than this. One pressure vessel in order to decrease the pressure a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to uh, make it uh, four, four pressure vessels and see. Okay, 55, quite reasonable or normal. And salinity brine average salinity uh, reversibility and all of this so this is your power this is your total power and this is your brine loss total brine loss and this is your total productivity uh, okay this is your total productivity and uh, meter cube per hour i'm sorry okay this is meter cube per hour and this is your uh, total feed this is your total feed you are going to use this uh, total feed a cubic meter per hour okay and uh, in order to discover uh, as you can see here yes this is your total feed this is your total feed okay and this is your splitted feed suppose I am going to uh, let it make some changes first dynamically but I have to uh, uh, go uh, adjust my uh, workspace and let's go for uh, sending our result to uh, data inspector so I have to 
name all of this double clicking and right here specific power consumption for stage 2 kilowatt hour uh, per uh, cubic meters and this is uh, this is the second high pressure bomb to power kilowatt and um, let's go for uh, uh, brain loss this is your brain loss uh, meter cube per hour okay and uh, let's go for for example exergy and so on okay uh, what i have to do i have to check all of this okay and going here and select stream selected signals to data inspector so i will send this data to data inspector in order to compare our results okay send to uh, data inspector you can click here okay it will send uh, salinity of the brain loss send to data inspector average salinity send it to data inspector okay reversibility rate okay let's go for uh, setting your simulation time into uh, infinity from here instead of zero infinity for example and let's saving and uh, oh, here I have to check this stream also should be sent to data inspector and the same for total productivity it was prepared before and okay we prepared some results okay uh, we uh, prepared some results and we have to run our model and dynamically and make some changes in order to see our results let's hit run and see so now our model is running in dynamic mode so suppose i i will increase the pressure uh, productivity okay increasing productivity you have to watch your uh, pressure so i have to increase uh, the number of pressure vessels as well so i'm increasing the number of pressure vessels in order to uh, stick myself uh, with uh, uh, 60 bars of uh, of output pressure in range let's go up to 5000 5000 or 10,000 uh, meter cube per day let's go for 10,000 meter cube per day okay so i have to increase number of pressure visits here okay number of pressure visits uh, that's increasing it will affect on the second module of course okay let's go up to uh, um, to adjust okay 68 quite normal let's increase here number of pressure vessels in order to adjust ourselves okay okay let's reduce a little bit okay uh, what about our um, uh, splitter ratio let's um, uh, increasing splitter ratio and see the effect on our results as you can see I'm increasing pressure ratio so the fall permeate is going to uh, no splitting, I mean no splitting. All permeate from the first stage is responsible or is working as a feed for the the next the next stage or second stage. Uh, that's uh, increasing uh, pressure vessels. Okay, in order to adjust our, I'm adjusting here, here adjusting my um, pressure and recovery ratio and efficiency also. Let's decrease uh, recovery ratio. It will increase the pressure I think yes okay decreasing the pressure uh, okay and uh, pressure here is adjusted okay that's it stop and let's go for data inspector and see uh, our results okay and let's inspect discover first uh, total uh, this is membrane area varying and uh, specific bar consumption the first specific bar consumption and let's compare to the second one i'm searching for yes this is the second one this is uh, two specific bar consumptions as uh, let's go for first um, first stage uh, pressure 
and the second steel depressure both on the same figure as you can see here you can realize the difference and um, the same for feed and salinity uh, let's go for power uh, let's go for power yes uh, i think this is uh, with uh, second power i think it's uh, i think it's here oh no, no i i couldn't send it to that is so i forget okay and uh, never mind power you can uh, brian loss this is brian from the first stage and uh, let's go for the brian uh brian one and brian two you can compare between posts uh, feed one and feed two okay and total plant permeate uh, total plant uh, brain loss uh, total power uh, exergy of the feed uh, exergy of the brain uh, average salinity and, uh, and so on irreversibility rate for the first one and there's irreversibility rate for the second one so you can you have many many uh, output data you can discover you can deal with and it's quite interesting but i do prefer to use um, energy recovery device but in case of your research you 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 need to discover the effect of splitting ratio you, you need to discover the effect of salinity of the uh, for, from the first stage on the second stage it's up to you uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model, uh, uh, Double Pass for Vitius Moses. Don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.